రియల్ ఆర్టిస్ట్ లెక్చర్ ఫైవ్ డాక్టర్ పి రాములు హెడ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఎంజిఎస్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆర్ట్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ కాలేజ్ మహబూబ్ నగర్ సో టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఓన్ ఫంక్షన్స్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద పీపుల్ దే ఆర్ యూజ్ ఫంక్షన్ Uh, they are simply saying that uh, function nothing but oh, okay, function nothing but f of x square x cube sin x cos x like this they are explained okay function nothing but this only they remember but uh, the definition are uh, unable to understand definition is unable to understand how can we define okay how can we define the function the most of the people in uh, after coming to the degree uh, they have good marks even though they are unable to say actual definition of function that's why i am used to explain this function topic in every year that's why today so i'm discussing function what is function what is function yeah this is like that f of x square f of x plus x cube have this slope okay this are like this graphs a function is every function has a slope so that's why it is a uh, we can say that okay uh, this is a functions so simply uh, we are used to remember like this okay so i want to explain the definition okay how the functions are defined the previous class i already explained about the sets this function is or uh, depends on set this function is or uh, depend on sets that's why so i will use the topic first that's why i already explained in first topic i explained only sets and this topics i am explaining about the definition of function let i am taking that a comma b are two non empty sets f a to b is said to be function if uh, every element to uh, x in a there exist to unique y belongs to b such that f of x equal to f i am repeating again let uh, f a to b or two functions or two non empty sets f a to b is said to be function if every element in a every element x in a there exist to unique y belongs to b such that f of x equal to y so this is actually definition so i want to explain other definition also the cons the function concept definition i i am using other other way a function consists of two non empty sets x and y elsewhere i am used a and b here the consists to x and y and a rule of that associate each element to x small x in capital x which one and only one element y in y so that means so the associate each element to in x so one and only one element in y so the both are same by understanding is different okay or uh, generally i will use uh, previous definition note this definition uh, the function f from x to into y and symbolize it by uh, the symbolize the function is so i'm writing this f x to y okay so i'm repeating uh, the function concept a function consists of two non empty sets x and y and a rule f dot associate each element to small x in x with one and only one element y in y the function f from x into y symbolized by f x to y so the mathematical concept a function is mathematical process that uniquely relate the value of one variable to the value of one or more other variables 
be careful a function is mathematical process that uniquely relates the value of one variable to the value of one or more other variables so if i give input x the function y equal to f of x this will be output what are the simple examples of functions so uh, we have to define the domains but uh, i am not defining that uh, i am using generally f of x uh, you can use uh, r power n to come on anyway uh, simply uh, the people are remembering like this only sin x exponential function cos x log x tan x tan x x factorial cos x so uh, x cube x square plus 4 x plus 2 cube root of x x right uh this kind of values the people are remembering so in functions okay what the process is happening in functions what are the process we have happening okay here i'm taking that uh, so uh, this corresponding i'm taking this set x capital x on this set i'm writing capital y this is capital y and this is capital x so uh, i'm defining the corresponding f is corresponding from x to y we may uh, uh, pre domain x or co domain x pre domain x or co domain x here we may take that uh, domain this we may call range so that means so uh, x goes to y the element which is mapped to x do called range so uh, x goes to some number this is called image of x if y is there or uh, suppose f of x called y this uh, x equal to f of x equal to y i am calling this is pre image of y so this we have to understood so remembering first first uh, clearly this is a uh, domain this is co domain here i'm taking that uh, this particular value that means whose elements of x is matched to this uh, we call it is range if i x goes to f of x this value i'm taking that uh, image of x if it is uh, i'm denote f of x called y like this uh, uh, this is called pre image of y so this thing we have to remember okay so in the f of x how the function will be wax here be careful you have to uh, remember all these things so um, okay i'm uh, using here uh, this is a this b the corresponding on draw okay the corresponding to a uh, droid here okay so uh, remember here the corresponding i am drawing here this is a b other corresponding is this a this is b other corresponding is a b okay. other thing is i am denoting a a b okay so first of all i want to like to explain like this what is function definition let a comma b are two non empty sets here a has some elements and b has some elements so a comma b are non empty sets already you know f i'm taking this map f i'm taking this corresponding to f a to b a map f a to b is a to b function if for every element of a there exist unique y belonging to b such that f of x is called x i will like to explain here here for every a there exist unique map on c a has only one map b also only one map c also only one map d also only one that is in it it may happen so uh, it is unique that's why we define this is this is a function we are coming to here in what i can this is a some elements b some element or this is corresponding i am drawing like this here a goes to q and 
A goes to R. B goes to P, C goes to Q, D goes to Q. Uh, follow all this thing, also work we, uh, we can work you here. 1 goes to 2 element, it is not unique. Uh, what it means that for every element here, there exists unique y in B such that f of x is equal to y. But here, what happened here? A goes to 2 elements. A goes to 2 elements. That's why this is not a function. This is not a function. Here, coming to here. Then what happened? The map A here goes to B. A comma B or to non empty set, it's okay. A goes to P, C goes to Q, D goes to R. That means unique happen. But what about B? B does not have image. But our definition says that for every element A, there exists a unique Y in B. But B does not have image. So B does not have any image in B. So there is no correspondence. That's why this is not a function. This is not a function. Here, coming to here. A has uh, three elements. B has some four elements. So A goes to P, B goes to Q, C goes to Q. Our definition is that for every A element, A, there is this unique image in B such that f of x equal to y. But here, A goes to P, unique only. This B goes to C, unique image. I know, okay? Every element has some unique image in B. Therefore, it is a function. So this A and D are function and B and C or not function. So remember the definition I am, I am explaining a function f a to b is a to b f a to b is a to b function if for every element in A there exist unique y in B such that f of x equal to y. So that is definition of function. So, so by using the diagram so uh, we have to understand how the definition works. Okay, here does not have three unique image. Here twice image. Here the element is other element have unique image, but the element does not have image. So that's why it is not function. Here all elements have unique image. That's why this function. This also function. Same. Okay. okay. I'm uh, defining quickly. Okay, goes to here. See what happened here. Already just now I explained. This does not have any image. Other element have the image, but this does not have image. So that's why it is. What is it? It is not a function. Here, come to here. What happened? This every element also have unique image only. Every element in here have unique image. That's why it is also function. It is not function. This is function. Coming to here. What happened here? 1, 2, 3 goes to right. 1 goes to 4, 2 goes to 4, 2 goes to 5, 3 goes to 6, 3 goes to That means here does not have unique image. It has multiple images. So 2 has multiple image. It is not unique. So simply you have to remember that uh, in A it goes to like this. Uh, Right, so if we uh, we symbol, uh, if diagram is goes like this, it is not function. If it is does not have any uh, alone uh, image or uh, surface, if you keep uh, alone like this, it is also not function. So V symbol is appear here, so that's why it is also not function. See, here also you can observe here five goes to 25 and 5 goes to 35. Here this symbol appears. That's why it is not a function. Here, A goes to D, B goes to F, C goes to F, F. Every element in this set have a unique image only. So that's why it is also a function. What about this F? What about this? This, this, I don't know about the right. Oh, there is no images. There is no correspondence. Or another to say, so what I mean is that every element here there exists a unique image, but uh, there is no image, so it is not a function. So remember that again, I am explaining 
every element in A, there exists a unique image in Y, B such that f of x equal to Y. Every element A here, there is not ima every element, there is no image here, it is not function, it is function, it is not function, Y is not unique, image has there, but not unique, it is also unique, not unique, it is not function, this function, this is not function. So, this is uh, how was the definition to the diagrams. Yeah. Now I am uh, going to define according to the graphs. Just now already we discussed about the diagrams. So now we have to discuss the function by using graphs. Okay. Here, see uh, one line here appearing. Uh, this is okay. Graph. We can take that. Uh, uh, you may think that uh, this is y-axis. Uh, uh, this is x-axis, this is uh, y-axis. In this, we have drawn a graph. We drawn a graph. So, for you may be you looking at this is A and this is B. This is A and this is B. If I move that, uh, if y-axis cuts this curve, only once at a on a graph there is function keep remembering that if we, any line which is parallel to y axis any line which is parallel to y axis so uh, here um, this is parallel to the y axis if you draw okay if you, if you draw the line on the graph if it is cuts only one point, then it is a function. Otherwise, it is not a function. So, uh, see here, if I am drawing this is like, okay, this is a graph. If I draw the curve, the line here, it cuts only one. If I draw curve this uh, line here, cuts only one. So that means everywhere. So if I have uh, cut to only where, so only once, then it is a function. If any line which is cuts, that means so. Uh, uh, well, how the definition will be work here? For every element in A, there exists unique image in B such that f of x equal to y. F of x equal to y. That means if there is only unique image. Otherwise, we cannot be say that. We are a math, a graph is dependent from A to B. My domain is here, codomain is this. Domain is A to B and codomain is C to B. Here, I am You may take codomain is real number, but range is I am taking C commodity. My domain is, but domain is this. In this place, the graph is not defined. If I take R to R, this is not function by because this element does not have any free majors. So that's why uh, any image, the map does not have right? So that's why uh, in this domain, in this domain, a comma b only, a comma b to the function f, a comma b to all is defined. In this domain, the graph, uh, any graph, if any line, uh, any line parallel to y axis, which is cut so, given graph only, only one time. So if it is like this, then it is called a function. Now come to here. My graph is look like. My graph is look at. Same I am taking, uh, uh, yeah, this is so uh, A and B domain, here A and this is B. Oh, in this domain I am taking the graph. Okay, I am not discussing over there. If I move the curve, any, if I drop the any line which is parallel to y axis, so here, observe here, it cuts one time, two times, right? This line cuts the given graph three times. If you drop here also, you get three times, three times, three times, three times, three times, three times or so many times it has so, uh, three times. That means so many elements have uh, no three unique images. Uh, what means that every element in A, there is a unique image in B. That here, if I take here, it has three elements, so that means uh, it is not a uh, free image. 
or just now I will say that here it will look like V shape. In this point here, uh, here can observe here. In this point, the curve goes to one, two, three, three points. Similarly, there are infinite numbers are there. So in V shape. So that's why, or uh, at the top so many points, so this curve is four so uh, one or more times. That's why it is not a function. Yeah, same. Uh, I am uh, clearing here yeah, uh, the doubt here. Yeah. So what here is there? Same. So looking at this is domain. My domain is. Uh, if I draw any line parallel to y axis, this is y axis. This is x axis. In this domain, if parallel to the y axis, so it is like two times here. Earlier it is three times. Here it is two times. If any curve parallel to y axis or sorry, any curve uh, which is cuts any line parallel to y axis more than one, it is not a function. Simply you have to remember. If it is cuts uniquely, then it is function. I would say that for every element in the edge, there is unique image only. Unique cuts, unique course. So then it is function. If it is not unique, then it is not a function. Simply you have to remember the function, how it is works. Okay. Oh. Uh, now, uh, just now already explained, though, now clearly observe that. The first graph you can observe here. How about this is the first graph is, uh, yeah, clearly you can observe here. If I take any curve, any curve parallel to y axis, see, you can, there are other lines are there, uh, this are the parallel to y axis. So, any line which is parallel to y-axis, which is cuts only one time, see here, only one time. So that's why uh, it is a function. If I take that, uh, if I take like this, right? So, and this is my graph, any line parallel to y-axis, it is cuts only one time. Therefore, it is a function. Here, so if I take this law, any line parallel to y axis, parallel to y axis, it cuts only one time, so therefore it is also function. If I take this, this of this graph, see this graph also, same thing, any line parallel to y axis, which is cuts so given graph only one time, so therefore it is a function. Now come to this is uh, case. If I take uh, any line parallel to y axis, which is cuts two times this circle, that's why it is not a function. If I take this line, if I take only y axis, here we have one, two. At zero, we have v set. Over the one point or one or uh, two or three, this point and this point. Therefore, it is not a function. If I take this graph, so it is look like going like this. So at this point, it has two image, one, two, one and two. So that's why it is not a function. Here, how it is? So this graph, how is this function or not? Why is it not function? So clearly observe that uh, how many points, okay, uh, how many, uh, any line which is parallel to y axis, how many times it cuts at this point, this is a graph, at this point, it cuts infinite times, that means the parallel line is inserted the, the graph only, that means here, you can observe here 0, 1, 2, 3. At two, we have infinite images. We have into infinite images. So that means it is look like so. At two goes like this. Okay. So that's why it is not a function. Here you can graph also here. This graph also we can observe here. Okay. 
So at this point we have zero. At this point we can observe here one, two, this line. At this point also we can observe that uh, the it, any line which is parallel to y axis cuts more than one. So it is fine. Therefore, it is also no function. These are the functions, and uh, these are not functions. Yeah, simply you can observe that uh, which are the functions, which are not functions. Constant functions, constant functions. Here you can observe that constant functions. That means f goes goes away. So this is also function. This is constant function. F of x for x goes like this. Okay, it is linear function. F of go into origin. It is linear function. F of x for mod x. So this is absolute value function. Okay, absolute value of a real number. So this is a modulus function. Quadratic function. F of x square. The parabolic. Okay, this is parabolic function. This is also function. See, observe clearly that uh, any curve which is parallel to y-axis cuts only one time. So in this graph, that's why I'm saying that this is also function. Square root function. Square root function. That means a function above the form above the root x. We call this square root function. So that means uh, this if I the graph is look like this, here my uh, images only take that uh, real values here. Yeah? Uh, from zero to this graph only. Uh, domain is defined from R plus one. In this domain, like this, we are defining. Or uh, this graph, any line parallel to y-axis, it cuts only one time. This is also a function. This is square root function. Okay. The cubic function. A part of the x cube. This is polynomial function also. Yeah. Uh, and I'm calling that function cubic function. That means all are here. We are giving only functions. All are here. We are giving only functions. I am discussing type of functions. How it is happen? How it is work? Cubic functions. Okay. Ah, uh, this polar function only. Uh, this is also cubic function. The graph of cubic function is look like this. Cube root function. Cube root of function. That means x square plus three by two. The graph of this look like this. This is also a function. Reciprocal or inverse rational functions. f of x one by x. See, it is go like this. It is going like this. Is it function? If I define the my function r star to r, is this function? Suppose if I define r to r, is this not a function? Why? Because if I define function f r to r, I am calling this function. That means the function is defined by f r star to r star. That means r star to what? R minus infinity to zero. At zero, what happen? If I subtract from zero, then what happens? One by infinite. One by infinite, nothing but uh, it will be. I don't know about the infinite value. At zero, does not have image. At zero, does not have image for this graph. So it goes to infinity, but we don't know about the at zero, uh, the value of zero uh, at zero. So that's why uh, this is a reciprocal function. I'm calling this is. This function is defined from R star to R. If if the function is defined from R to R, it is not function. Yeah, rational function. Same similar. If I put one by x square, uh, this graph look like the same, same only. Okay. So here also the function is defined from f of f R star to R. Domain of this function is R star. Why? Because at zero, infinite will get. Oh, I don't know. Uh, if I take f r to r, this is not a function. It is rational rational function. That's why I am calling here. Or sorry, if my domain is r star to logarithmic function. Logarithmic function. Okay. If I define the function, what are logarithmic function? A function is of the form f of x plus y. Simply right. A function is of the form. f of x plus y is called logarithmic function. Here, okay, the graph of the curve is look like uh, this. The graph of the curve is look like f of x plus y. So here, if I define the function f r to r, what happens? F r to r, what happens? So uh, you can read about the logarithm. 
what is the logarithmic function yes first of all logarithmic what is log how to define log the log value of this okay here see my graph takes only positive value here i am not drawing any graph here that's why my graph is defined from r plus to r only if you define from r plus to r then only it is for the function otherwise or not all if i define the function f r to r f r equal to i so we are not uh, okay we cannot say f r equal to like why it is not defined f r equal to i f r equal to i so why it not defined what is log zero okay. simply observe here at zero the values goes to infinite which infinite this is positive infinite this is negative infinite at zero this value goes to plus infinite minus infinite that means we may call that uh, log zero is minus infinite so uh, what about log minus one log minus one is i don't know about the value of log minus one so uh, that means uh, we are unable to say What about the logarithmic function? Ah, uh, log negative values. That's why logarithmic log values cannot be defined by negative values and zero. Log values, log values cannot be defined for negative value and zero at zero. That's why my graph is taking from real positive number, positive real number to only to R. You can take any number, right? So. Uh, This is lower function. exponential function. F of x equal to e power of x. F of x equal to e power of x. A function is at the form f of x equal to e power x. Is a function. I simply can look at the graph of this, right? You can look at this graph. So here, what happened? F of x equal to e power x. E power x. It is look like this. Okay. What is the domain and codomain here? What is the domain and codomain? The value. See, I am taking the R to R only. What is R? So O value is defined here. Well, here my graph takes the negative number to positive number. That's why here the graph takes the negative number as well as positive number. That's why it is uh, R to R only. The range is defined, but The graph is uh, R to R only. This is called exponential line, right? A function is the form f of x called e power x called exponential line. Straight function. Okay. So uh, we will discuss uh, later for straight function. Already we discuss some other thing. Uh, only okay, no problem. But we will discuss uh, about straight function later. Uh, it is look the f of x called box x. Integral part of box x, right? Um, already we defined the uh, integral part of real number using that. Uh, Uh, definition uh, we made this graph. What is integral part of x? So integral part of x equal to n if n less than or equal to x less than or equal to n, where n belongs to n pairs. Integral part of a real number in x defined by box x equal to n if n less than or equal to x less than n plus one for all n belong to z. So according to the definition, it is defined in lecture two already. I lecture two. Or lecture three, no, already we discussed about the integral part of number. You can read that uh, how we define like this. By using this only, uh, the graph is coming like this. This is straight function. Trigonometric function. So, uh, sine x, cos x, f of x, tan x. Uh, we usually call that f of x or tan x. Here range is r to minus one to one only. Uh, range of this is minus one to one. The function f is defined on uh, only uh, r to mm, minus one to one. Okay. F of x equal to cos x. F of x equal to cos x. F of x equal to cos x is nothing but uh, this one. Remember that is uh, r to minus one to one. Both okay. Here, uh, what or what value? Uh, which value which will be zero? At phi by two. The value is unable to define, right? Tan pi by two how much? That is infinite. So 
uh, here uh, the value is unable to define the domain is the ambient that or uh, domain on that n pi by 2 from the r n pi by 2 okay uh, n plus 2 when, uh, that means uh, pi by 2 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2 at values so all will get infinite here the value goes to infinite and minus infinite be careful observe right this dog goes to this side and this dog goes to this side that, okay so uh, these are the functions or I have explained yeah. other functions from I have my basic function and dogs x but linear function already we discussed this, this is a linear function I am applying this uh, a so depends on a this block is moved like this so for a increasing decreasing so according to a if the block is moved like this this is a sin b x that means the drop shape cannot be changed but uh, often ups and downs is happen the drop shape is like this only uh, depends on a and b x the size will be changed like this cannot be move or uh, cannot go to minus one to you know it is uh, behind that only but uh, depends on value it is moved on like this okay uh, so uh, if we multiply here right uh, the growth is lies between minus a to a only here the growth is lies between minus a to a only a times a growth is look like same a square f of a square the quadratic function already we discussed just now the quadratic function is defined that means if it is a growth is depends on scalar here Previously, I just simply define x, sin x, cos x, tan x like this. Here, we are multiplying the given graph into, so that's why x square. Cubic function. So, uh, this is the x cube, the graph is like that. Previously, the graph is like Now, if I multiply with this, it looks like this. Oh, these are all functions. So, yeah, I am discussing the function. These are functions by using graph. I explained. If I take any graph, which is cut to only one time. So, you see, observe all this in real life. Inverse function. So the inverse function is uh, x goes to y here. This is x y f of x y. This is also inverse function. Mathematical gas moments. So our beautiful functions. Just now already explained. What are the steps? Okay. What are the steps? Just now we move that. Sin x cross moments, right? Yes, sin x, cos x, tan x, the moments of dash, okay, according to the moments of dash, it is to look like, the positions of the steps, we are drawn, we are converting to our mathematical definition, the sin x, the moment is like this, cos x, okay, the cos x and tan x, cot x, mod x and x so linear, this mod x is like this, the moment is like x size. Okay, so this mod x and this is linear, it is like x y is only x parabolic. So uh, this is circle, it will keep on like this hands together root x and minus root x, 1 by x, right? Uh, so the cap, okay, all of those things. So this is mathematical dash mover, okay, moves. The functions. Uh, Already we discussed about the uh, one or two variables, so sorry, only one variable we have discussed here. Here x is set domain, this is co domain, x is input, x is x, x input y, uh, examples, okay, order based, you can define like this also, order pair, uh, we have not discussed this thing. By using order pair, you may define uh, this also. You can define by using order pair. Okay, uh, minus nine, one, minus one, five, minus one, two, three, ten. Okay, by using tables. Okay, uh, the functions also we can recognize that by using tables. One goes to twenty one, two goes to twenty two, three goes to twenty one. Right? This is also function. If you give value, the output will comes. This x is input, y is output. By using graphs, by using graphs, so uh, we can say that is function, it is not function. Okay, so simply uh, we may take that. Uh, okay. See, uh, this is uh, functions, these are not functions. Why? Because 1 goes 21, 2 goes 22, 3 goes 23, 8 goes 25. 
every element has a unique image only whereas here you can come here 3 has 4 and 3 also that means 3 has multiple images for does not have unique image therefore it is not function again goes to here minus h uh, minus i goes to 1 minus 3 goes to 3 2 goes to 2 0 goes to 5 5 goes to 0 every element has a unique image only every element has unique image only so that's why it is uh, function that's why it is a function here it comes here minus goes to 5 minus goes to 2 that means a minus 1 has multiple image that's why it is not a function see the graph this graph cuts only y axis any uh, line parallel to y axis cuts only one so therefore it is a function whereas it comes here this graph okay this look at that at this point infinite it values is taking that's why it is not a function yeah 7 goes to 2 10 goes to 2 13 goes to 3 that means every element has unique image only therefore it is also function here see 5 goes to 4 pi it is look like a shape that means 5 has multiple images unique image only is function and have multiple images therefore it is not a function this is briefly explained about the all we discussed up to now one one function cipher function what is next topic is one one function the function with domain is called one to one function if no two elements of a have same image no two elements have the same image that is f of x1 equal to f of x2 whenever x1 not equal to x2 different image has different images different element have different images we can mention that the other way also a function with domain a is called one to one function if two elements of a have the same image that is f of x1 equal to f of x2 then x1 equal to x2 we may write use this and this also that means x2 goes to f of x a goes to f of a b goes to b that means different element have different image only so then only we can that it is one function function okay. simply you can remember that distinct element have distinct images yeah what is the definition one to one function other way already just now already defined so a function f is one to one function if probably c element c county of domain f c not equal to implies f of c not equal to f of b whereas if i take come to here uh example f of uh, y uh, given equal y equal to f of x so equal to mod x f is not one to one because what happened here minus two not equal to two at mod minus two is equal to two that means at 2 and minus 2, 2 minus 2, but both are same. Different images have same images. If different images have uh, distinct images, have different, uh, different elements have different images, then only we say that it is 1 to 1 function, but this is not 1 to 1 function. So, uh, if a, a to be such that no more than one value in a can map particular element in b then it is called one to one function so simply right different images see, nothing but or different images have different images different element have different images you can take uh, you can observe here a 4 5 3 that means uh, 3 goes to 1 4 goes to 3 5 goes to 5 only and this, this uh, distinct element have different images therefore it is one to one the map of this is look at equal to equal to x minus 5 so 2x minus 5 you can put that f of 3 equal to 2, uh, x equal to 3 then what happened 2 into 3 6 minus 5 equal to 1 x equal to 4 then 2 into x is equal to 4 that means uh, 8 uh, minus 5 equal to 3 5 10 minus 5 so, so this is 1 to 1 distinct element of distinct images so therefore it is injective function or testing where See, here we can have distinct element have distinct images. 3 goes to 1, 4 goes to 3, 5 goes to 5. Different element have different images. Interruption. No two elements are mapped to the same element. So, if I take distinct elements, this, this, okay, distinct element is a distinct image. If I take this and this, 
Patek he said these two distinct elements have same images. Patek two distinct elements have same images. That's why it is not inductive function. It is uh, inductive, not a uh, one to one function. If I take here, distinct element have distinct images. If I take these two, distinct images. If I take these two, distinct images. So therefore, it is injective function or you can say that one to one function. Okay, how the function is in the data? So f of x equal to, if I take g of x equal to 1 minus 2 root x uh, plus 5, I'm taking that a equal to b, g of a equal to g of b. G of a equal to G of B, then I want to show that A equal to B. So this I want to show A equal to B when G of A equal to G of B. G of A equal to G of B, I am taking that this, 1 will cancel out, minus 2, and this is also cancel out, root 2A plus 5, 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 root so uh, here every element have unique image only. So if I take any two element, we have distinct element have distinct image in this graph. So that's why uh, simply what can you do? You can do uh, what you can take any uh, curve parallel to x-axis, which is curves to given curve only once. Then we say that that curve is uh, that graph is one one. I'm repeating again, if any curve which is parallel to y axis, which is called to only one times to the given curve, given graph, then it is one to one function. I'm taking this is x axis, uh, the parallel to x axis is so this, this graph is called to only one times to the given curve, therefore it is one to one. This other graph, I'm taking one parallel line to the y axis, so uh, x axis, parallel to x axis. The parallel line to the x axis which is called spice. So therefore uh, it is not one to one function. What do you mean? I mean so distinct element have same image. You can observe here, 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 here. So many ways here. Distinct element have distinct image. Because simply it is look like parabola, one minus one goes same to minus two goes same to like this it has happened, right? So at this value, as you see you can observe this design this value. Distinct element of same images, therefore it is not one to one function. I'm repeating again. If any curve which is parallel to x axis cuts twice to the given graph, then it is not not only twice, you can more than once. It is not a one to one function. Yeah. So uh, you can use that uh, other uh, other definition also. What uh, what is this? Uh, hmm. uh, sin x graph. Okay. So simply you can use that sin x graph. Uh, that is not uh, uh, this. You use that sin x sin x graph. That is not uh, one to one. Oh sorry, one to one function. You can use here. See. Distinct element have same images here. You can observe here. So this is uh, not one one function. You can also get uh, this is a constant function. So this is also distinct element same images. Therefore it is not a one to one function. Yeah, you this is a parabolic function. It's not one to one. Model model function. Otherwise this is also not uh, one one function. You can take this breaking function. This is also not one one function. So this one one. This one one. This is one one. This one, 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 not one, one. Uh, okay, it is also one, one. Mm. It is not one, one. Okay. It is also one, one. It is not one, one, not one, one, not one, one. Uh, it is one, two, one. I think uh, distinct element of so different images. Uh, no, no. Uh, it this parent to same this uh, same values. Uh, it has. it is not also one, one. It is not one one. Uh, here the trigonal function is not one one. So uh, this the end the lecture five. Uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, today we have discussed functions and uh, one one function. So other topic will be discussed later. Uh, that means uh, on functions, so by functions, so type of functions. So
so uh, that will be discussed later thank you thank you for watching this so uh,